Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. And no, today is not an S2000 episode, but do expect some in the future because right now, instead of teasing you guys, I'm actually revealing something I did in this front end, but only to the S2000 fans are gonna pick up on the difference. Today though, we're not gonna focus on the front end of anything. Actually, we're gonna focus on the exact opposite what are we possibly doing in the back of the forerunner the back side back can i say that yes i think so well ever since changing the valance covers on those bumpers to black I kind of went on a rampage and one thing has escalated to another and next thing you know I started noticing things that I didn't even know I needed and that is actually the main theme of the, the video today. I'm going to show you guys how you can justify buying yourself for your 4Runner a TRD exhaust. Any clues yet? All right, so let me just explain what's going on here. I'm trying to knock some of the rust out of this. This is obviously a temporary fix, guys. Uh, I got a price on this from Toyota and it's very close to $200. I just don't think it's feasible to spend that kind of money on something that I'm only worried about aesthetically speaking. So I'm gonna obviously give it a little uh, paint coat, perhaps apply some uh, clear and call it a day, but some of the OGs have seen that the four bolts that hold this piece on this side I have already replaced. But what I forgot to replace was the bottom ones. So while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now a little top tip for you guys. Uh, it's pretty beat up, but this is an anti-seize material. LEC Performance actually calls this space grease. Just apply some of it on the screw. And the next guy will have no problem getting these out. So guys, I am uh, currently traveling down to the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania, actually, to pick up a part that I've uh, I managed to track down with the uh, Marketplace Facebook. Why am I telling you all of this information? Because I am super excited, man. This is the cheapest one that I could find in the longest time. So I am going to get my hands on it before somebody else does. I'm listening. Because I knew if I got like a like a offer of I was gonna upgrade all the stuff anyway. Yeah. I told my wife, I'm like, it's like go ahead and give it to me. Listen, you see I already see paid great on it. I bought it at MSRP. Oh, the, these things? You get your money back in a heartbeat if you try to sell it. Yeah. See the the thing is, I am I'm right there with you because guess what? Time is money, man. Yeah. And if you know you're gonna do it no matter what, yeah. so why not just get it? The way the way you like it. So I decided to stop here and show you guys what we went and got for the truck. So check it out. It's got about eight thousand miles on it. It is a takeoff. Looks in really good shape, and I believe I got it for a really good price. So. Uh, Stay tuned and see why I wanted to switch it to this exhaust and it's probably not for the reasons that you're thinking.
Yeah, guys. It's pretty bad. This one we addressed before, but we were replacing it from this point back. So, yeah, we'll see. And just a quick comparison here, guys. Old exhaust versus new. I got to tell you, man, I had no idea my old exhaust was that badly rusted. But hey, it's a good thing we're changing it, right? A little top tip, guys. If you want the hook to slide in nice and easy, put some of that wheel bearing grease in it. You'll be perfectly fine. Watch this. A little bit. And you're good to go. Guys, obviously it goes without saying, every time you uh, do exhaust work, you gotta double check your work. You gotta make sure you don't have any leaks and that everything is tight in the way it should be. I am happy to report that we are a-okay. See, even this one got a new gasket, although this pipe, I gotta say, it does not look a very famous. That rust belt, man, treated me really well. Look at the top of it. Jeez. You know that's gonna be next. But for now, we are good to go. So, why should you get a TRD exhaust, you might ask. We're going to answer that question right now. So, first of all, I just want to show you guys this uh, strap. I did show this in a previous video, but I don't know if I've revealed this yet. It is made by the same company. This is obviously a recovery point, correct? Well, now this is the part in which all of you are gonna go out there and check this for yourselves. If you notice on the driver's side, you have a recovery point. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this, right? Oh, what is going on over there? How come you can't have that recovery point on your car? Because your exhaust is in the way, but we fixed that now, didn't we? Now, I don't know about you guys, but man, let me tell you, I love this look so much better. Not to mention, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm going for a blacked out look. I've been blacking out this car for a while now. Those are the covers I was talking about before. And yeah, I didn't like the chrome anymore. Not to mention, once I found out that you had those two holes on the frame there, and you could install another recovery point for me, it was a no brainer. So guys, Go ahead and explain to your wife, listen, honey, if I get into a ditch, I need this recovery point. So in order to get this, I need to get that. Talk about some crazy angles here. Um, so this uh, recovery point that we're going to install back here, you always want to make sure you clean the threads. You got to grab yourself a tap and die set, big sizes that is, and um, yeah. I'll make sure to put the correct size in here, but uh, let me just show you what we're actually doing here. I already cleaned this one up, although I don't know if you can see in there. We're gonna go ahead and clean this one. So yeah, I actually started on this side. And as you guys can see, the key here is that you go straight up, never on an angle. And you're basically just working out the rust uh which actually reminds me try not to look at it directly because this obviously is a tough position to work in but you know stuff does fall down and you don't want it in your eyes so let me go ahead and show you guys this side from the beginning again you want to go 
straight up, nice and easy. Take your time. You do not want to rush this. And yeah, I'll try to give you a closer look of what I'm actually talking about. And if you actually see in the grooves, it's actually removing that excessive rust that has accumulated over the years. And yeah, it looks like we're all the way through, so you back it out the same way. Again, no rush, take your time. And when everything is said and done, yeah, should be nice and clean, ready for your screws to go in. So what are your thoughts, guys? TRD exhaust. Yay or nay, um, for those of you that might be wondering, it is not as drony as you might think on the inside. At first, I was starting to think that I was not gonna like it, but to be honest with you, it's been on the truck for almost a month. I don't even notice it. It hasn't affected the gas mileage either. Uh, did you know about the recovery point? And also, do you think I have exhausted all the TRD parts catalog. Hmm. I wonder if there's more out there that we can install in the Vikings Garage 4Runner. Well, I guess you guys are going to have to stay tuned and find out. But until next time, man, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you haven't done so, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys, here we go. A small thank you for watching the entire video. So this is a 2015. Okay. Any guesses on the miles? Anybody wants to guess the mileage on this 2015? Well, just in case there's any doubters, there's the production date. All right, ready or not? Yup, that is not a misprint. Yeah, man. This is wild. What are they averaging? 100 miles a year? Look at this frame. <laughs> That's crazy. That is wild. We did a fuel pump on it because it had an open recall, but yeah. I want to assume that the wheel has been changed already once, but you saw it, uh, you saw it right. 600 miles on 2015.